Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horsehaven World Adventures. Now this little foal here is actually my tier 3 clover. It has taken me weeks if not months to get this one. Every single time I've bred my tier 2s I've ended up with more tier 2s. To the point that my grand stable was kind of getting a little bit overrun with them. Um, and I ended up starting to sell them off even if I hadn't got them up to level 10 just because they were taking up so much space. But thankfully we now have the tier three so I don't need to worry about this anymore. I've got rid of everything else and I'm just going to keep the one tier three for now. I'm not even going to bother breeding uh, the other gender for this right now. Now for our amethyst fairy corn. So I've got two tier twos here and we're going to try and get the tier three. I don't have any gems left over. I used all of them for one of my other fantasy breeds so I haven't had any extra ones saved up since. But I always check anyway, just hoping that I've randomly gotten one. Oh, we actually got it! I thought it was just gonna stop before it or just after it, but it actually landed on it. Okay, brilliant. We have the uh, Amethyst Fairy Corn Tier 3, so that's ready whenever the sorts for 4 come out. So I'm gonna try and get the Pasifino Tier 3 now. I've got my Tier 2s ready. Um, we have a 13% chance, not great. I really like this tier. I think the Tier 3 is gorgeous. Oh! Okay, we actually got it. I thought it was gonna like just go past there or just stop short of it, but okay, brilliant. We have the uh, Pasifino tier three. So the Amber Furry Horse uh, tier four search should be coming up in the Breeding Society in a couple of days. So I'm trying to get my tier two Amber Furry Horses up to the tier three to be ready for that. We need a 10% chance on this. I always check for the gems anyway. No, I don't think I've had any for quite a bit now. Right, we could end up with uh, more tier twos, which I don't want. Come on, please. Ah, uh, tell that wasn't going to land on it. Okay, well that's another tier two to add to my collection. Trying for the Missouri Fox Trotter tier four. This is a really cute horse, actually, because some of the tier fours I don't always like. There's been some that I haven't been fussed on. I've had this Missouri Fox Trotter sitting in my uh, ground stable forever, so I thought I should probably hurry up and get the tier four, considering I do have the search for it. Ah, that just went past. So we've ended up with a female tier 3 again. Just gonna feed up this uh, amber furry horse. I have a funny feeling, I don't know why, but I feel like this is gonna be one of those horses that just is kind of like the clover was. It isn't gonna cough up the horse that I'm hoping for anytime soon. Just have that feeling about it. I'm hoping it's not gonna be the case and I hope it'll be fine, but We'll just have to keep trying to breed at that and hope that we do get the tier 3. Alright, let's try for the tier 3 Amber Furry Horse. With our male and female. Nope, still none of those. I feel like I need to go and do some staple chases and try and get some of those gems. Nah. Yeah. I could tell quite quickly that wasn't going to happen. I'll have to try that again. So this is the tier 3 Legolas and oh my god it is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I didn't actually like care about this horse when I was doing the last one so I was like I'll just go and get it because I need to get it. But I never actually went and looked at the, the tiers and the colours and stuff because I didn't really like the tier 1. The tier 1's a horrible colour. Tier 2 is an interesting colour. Don't know that I'd like that though. But that tier 3 is beautiful. This is like another horse now that I want a diamond and I haven't even like, I've got a few weather skills on Chief but I haven't done anything else. <gasps> oh my god, I thought it was going to land on the tier 3 and it didn't. Oh, okay, we got a filler tier 1 Legolas. Okay, well, we can try again. Alright, we'll feed this up and then we can try uh, for the tier 2 Legolas. But yeah, when I saw the tier 1 of this horse, I was like, eh, I don't really like this horse. Not so much the design, it's just the colours completely put me off the horse and I just didn't even bother looking at the other ones. Because um, quite often in the horse even I don't know, I find that the tier 3s or the tier 4s sometimes just aren't as nice as some of the earlier tiers. But this seems to be the opposite. You know what? That tier 2 is actually really nice as well. I like that horse and it wouldn't have been a colour combination that I would have chosen at all, but I like it. On the full, I didn't like the look of it, but it's actually really nice there. Right, we have 23% chance to get the tier 2. So 
Give us the tier two. Because I want that tier three real bad. Yes. Okay, brilliant. We got it. Now we can uh, hopefully get either get another one or breed up to the, the tier three. I'm hoping we'll just immediately get a tier three next, but chances are that probably won't happen, but we'll see. Let's have another go at trying to get the tier three Amber Fairy. Yep, still none of those. Come on, 15%. Give us the horse, give us the horse, give us the horse. Ah! This is not looking good so far with the Amber Fairies. Not like the other fantasies. So here is our tier three Amethyst Fairy Corn. So now that we have this tier three Amethyst Fairy Corn, I'm assuming whenever we get the tier four Cirque available for this horse, I can go ahead and just try for the tier fours immediately. Which will be good. Not like getting stuck with the Amber Fairy Horses, which seems to be the case at the minute. Let's go ahead and try and get the other gender of this, because we only have the female right now and I'd just like to be fully prepared for it. Come on. Give us the one we need. We need a meal. What did we get? Did we get- oh, we ended up with another female. It's like I get the tier 3 easily enough, but now I'm going to be stuck getting females when I need the male one. Right, it'll pass if you know. Eat up that food. So I want to see this horse. I know we did see it whenever we were trying to braid it earlier, but that's really nice. I really like that horse. Not enough that I would diamond it or anything like that, but it is really nice. I hope the tier 4 is as nice as that, because I'm not actually sure if I've seen the tier 4. Probably have, but I just forgot. So here's another one of my problem horses, the Ventasso. The Ventasso, I've been stuck on the tier 2s for quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead here and try raid to a tier 4. Because breeding my tier 2s together has just produced more and more tier 2s. I'm sick of looking at them. So try breeding a France horse just to see if there's any difference. Don't you dare! Oh, okay. This game hates me right now. Or at least these horses particularly do. You gonna insta go for us now? You are. Good. Really like that horse. It is really nice, actually. Yeah, it's one of those horses that I wouldn't have expected to have liked based on its full picture at all, or uh, its profile picture. And you know what? It's such a nice horse. So even though I have several other horses to finish diamonding right now, this tier 3 is going on my list of horses to diamond. Okay, we've got a 13% chance of the tier 3. Please game. Please. I would really, really, really like this horse to be tier 3. Ah, uh, no! Okay, we've got another um, tier 2 for sure. Yep, we have. So we're back with the Cursed Fantasso, trying to get the tier 3, because we've been trying a few different things. Now this is this is a much better, like, chance than the other one. Come on. It's about time you give us the Fantasso. No, of course. Another tier 2 to add to my other thousand tier 2s. Let's give the Missouri Fox Trotter tier 4 another go. Come on. We've got a 16% chance, so that's like semi-decent as far as uh, tier 4s go. Come on! No! Yeah, that didn't look like it was going to happen. So no tier 4 on that either. Let's go again with the Amber Furry Horse. Trying again to get that tier 3. Uh, we have 15% chance. Now we have 20. Don't have any gems, okay. Come on, 20%. That's decent. Come on. Ah. Uh, uh. Alright, well, that's another tier 2. I'm gonna end up with a lot of tier 2s. I already have too many tier 2s. Right, another go here with the tier 3 Legolas. Only an 8% chance on the tier 3. I'll even take the tier 2 at this rate of going. Give me the tier 2 of the other gender. Come on. Okay, I think we I think we actually got the one we needed. Yep, we did. We've got a female now to go with our uh, male Legolas. 
once again, trying for the two or three on the Amber Fairy Horse. No, come on. That's a 30% chance. It's a huge chance. Oh, you are joking. You are joking. I'm really starting to hate this horse right now. And once again, off we go with the Amber Fairy Horse. Not going to be as good a chance as it was the last time. Only 15%. Not that the 30% made any difference to us. Yeah, no, I can see that that wasn't going to land that very early on. Another one. Well, time to go into the Breeders' Society because the Amber Furry Horse Cert is out for the Tier 4. Just going to go ahead and use our diamonds to get that. So we now have the Tier 4 Cert for the Amber Furry Horse, but we still haven't got our Tier 3 Amber Furry Horses. So I can't see me getting this anytime soon, unless we're really, really lucky. But just quite stuck on this. So yeah, this horse has proven to be a real pain in terms of getting the tier three. Right, our tier two Legolasses are both ready now, so we can try our hand now at getting the tier three. So this is the first time we've bred with both of our tier twos. That's only a 12% chance though. Come on, come on. No, it did not. Yes! We got our tier 3 Legolas on our first try. I was not expecting that. That makes up for the Amber Furry Horses and the Ventasos and everything else right now that just will not give us the next tier. Brilliant. So we're taking our tier 2 Amber Fairy here and we're going to try Fran's tier 4. Because we've had enough. The fact that we're not getting a tier 3. So maybe this will increase our chances. Maybe we'll have a better try at this. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Please. Oh, oh, it nearly, nearly landed on the floor. That is so typical. Right, come on. Be level five already. I want to see this horse. Oh my god, it has the green blue eyes. Yeah, they're like the green eyes. That's gorgeous. I'm so diamonding this particular horse because we got a really nice eye color that I think really goes with it. So yeah, I am super, super pleased with this. Very happy. I've been using the order center since you guys told me to reset. And I love this particular bit because I can sell level five horses for uh, diamonds, but I make sure that they're not already level 10 before I do this and that I have spares left over. I put some of the clover tack on this horse and it just suits it so much. I love it. But anyways, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you've had a lovely day. Uh, bye!